And so, uh, like I said earlier about the layers, so say I don't want it to, to see the welcome, I just want to see the paradox or whatever. You click this, and then you click go. And as you guys can see, it's still here, but you're not seeing it. You're only seeing this. So this kind of give. if you have a lot of stuff all jumbled around and you want to um, play with only a certain part of it, this will let you um, see what's there and what's not there. Hold on. Let me... Okay, now if I go through it again, there it is. So that is um, how to add a background and text to your live type. And then, as you guys can see, this is a this shows me t a little more than two seconds of my clip. To make an intro, you guys are gonna want to add all the different text that you can. Oh yeah, another thing you guys can do is add a video background. So say you don't want this paradox, so I'm gonna delete this track. I'm gonna just go cut track. Um, so say instead of uh, it being paradox on top of or underneath this welcome, you can click live type or no, you go file and then place place a background movie. And so this will bring up a little uh, search bar, and I'm going to go to my movies, and I'm just going to see, uh, let's see what I got. What's this? What is this? Oh, no, that's from a project. Let me see what we have. Okay. Um, let's just do YouTube clips, new intro. Okay, so you click open, and then it's going to take a while to load. Uh, this is a really big thing. So say you uh, open a video clip that's way too big for your canvas. So as you guys can see, it's this is way too big. Right here it says um, 100%. And you can have fit to window, all these different things. If you want to make it smaller, you can click 50%. That still seems a little big, so I'm going to try 25%. There's that. And now my text is over here. And I can move. Whoa, what the heck is that? Click Apple Z to fix that. You take it, you can drag it here. And now, say I want to do my uh, size. So you go to text, and then you can make this bigger. And now, since this is a dark background, you're not going to want a blue there, so you just go to attributes and then change it. So, say I want it to be like a light lime green color. That's cool. So, now I click play. Now, since it's a video background, it's going to take a lot longer to render. So, you just have to let it go through once to your loop bar. And then, after it loads through, then it will show you your video effect or your uh, text effect. So that's just pretty much, oh, this is how you do it with a live font, and I'm going to show you guys real quickly how to do it with a, um, uh, whatchamacallit, how to do it with a, uh, just normal text. So as you guys can see, it's going through rendering, and then I'll show you real quickly what it's like when it goes through. Okay, there. So now, here it is, welcome, and there you guys go. That's how you use uh, live fonts in live type and how you add a video background. Now, say I don't want this track. Say I want to do it with just the normal effect. So, I showed you guys how to do it with a live font. Now, say you want to do it with just like normal text. So, you go and uh, I'm just going to cut this track, but I still have my movie background. Now, I go to fonts. Now, you pick a font that you like. You can just click on one and use their arrow keys to go down through them. I'm going to find a cool one. That's kind of cool. So then you click Apply to New Track, and then it'll open up a new inspector window. So I'm just going to say it once again. Welcome. Uh, hold on. It's a little laggy because I'm video recording this, but you guys get it, right? Okay, welcome. And then, um, then you can click. I'm going to go to Size and make this big. So there you guys can see it in the uh, canvas window. Now right now it's white. I'm going to try to make it a different color. Let's see. Since this is I'm going to like it. I'm going to do it this green color again. Um okay, so that's this. So as you guys can see, 
it just has the normal text right there, but that's kind of boring. And so one thing you can do is you can add effects. So you're gonna click on the effects tab, and I'll open the effects in the ins uh, effects in the inspector window and the effects in the media browser. And so here are all the different types of effects you can do. I'm gonna do um, let's do shadows. So here's climbing text. That's a cool, cool one. pit stop. That's actually pretty cool. So now I just click, um, you highlight it, and then you click apply. And then inside here, I'll show you all the different effects. So say I want to do serpentine too. You click apply, but you don't want to use serpentine. You just uncheck serpentine, and then it'll only show pit stop. So if you go back here, hold on. I'm going to change my loop browser to here so it only plays the part that I want to show you guys so it takes less time to render okay so now as you guys can see it's rendering the uh, effect that I just put in which was pit stop and that actually makes it look a lot better than just the normal text showing itself as you guys can see it holds for about like another second and a half as soon as it renders I'll show you guys okay and there you go welcome pit stop okay that is pretty much how you use live type now to uh, to export this you're gonna want to go uh, file and then uh, you're gonna I think you do render movie and then it'll render it and you can choose how you want to render it and then you can export it to your desktop as a dot mov and then you can put that into uh, iMovie or iMovie the current iMovie that you're using or if you guys are using Final Cut Express you open Final Cut Express and then um, you can actually bring live type directly into Final Cut Express so say you have a live type file on your desktop you go into Final Cut Express and you click um, I think it's add a new track I'm not really sure I'm not that familiar with Final Cut Express but I know that you can use live type directly in Final Cut Express so that's always a nice uh, that's always a nice touch so here is my um, Final Cut Express loading. It's the same kind of thing. Here's your viewer and then your canvas. It's kind of. It, I'll do another video on how to use this. I'm not exactly that familiar with it, but I think you go file and then import files and then um, you find a live type. I'm just gonna type in live type. See if anything comes up. Okay, so here is a live type file. Here's my intro. You click choose. And it'll open it uh, directly within uh, Final Cut Express. So say here, you can drag it to here and then view it. Yeah, Mac Tips and Tricks. You guys get it. That's uh, that is how you add um, a live type file into Final Cut Express. Uh, don't save. Okay, so that is pretty much how you guys use live type. Um, I can show you guys. I did a video on how to get these two applications for free. And if you guys have any questions, then you can PM me or you can ask me a question on Twitter. Um, thank you guys for watching my videos. If you like them, please subscribe and rate and comment. Um, you guys can follow me on Twitter for exclusive content. I'll have the link to that in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned.